Hey everyone and welcome back to another Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a few various ways where you can change who is in charge of your country through the political party system via focuses, decisions, a few other in-game methods. Really this is going to probably be the most groundbreaking video for a lot of people on how to change their politics because I know that's a very big thing in the Millennium Dawn community people want to do. So the first way you're obviously going to go and do this is go down your national focuses. Uh, pretty much every single country in the game, at least the United States is a major one, Russia's one, where you can change your uh, political parties just by doing these kind of focuses. Um, or, no, this one unlocks via the election through other things, but uh, Russia's, for example, I know you can, for a fact, influence who the leader is. Um, yeah, down in here. So, here's the different ways you're actually able to change who the leaders of your country are going to be in terms of political parties. So one way, which not a lot of people realize, is raising taxes and lowering taxes. So let's go ahead and assume that we want the Democratic Party, which is part of the uh, Republic or the uh, Western outlook uh, right here. Let's say we want to keep the Democrats in power. You lower your taxes and you can see right here it's 40.1 right now. It starts going up. But if we start increasing, if we want the Republicans to win, we start increasing the tax. Now, that's one method you can do for that. Now, another thing you can do is under your decisions, you can see down here, you can start doing pro-Western propaganda. You can do nationalistic stuff. Usually if you do the nationalistic one, it's kind of iffy about how much support you're going to get, but that's one of the ways you can do it. Now. This is one that not a lot of people realize. Let's assume um, you've been trying to flip nationalist in the game and you've done this one for, let's say, two hours at this point, right? I'm just going to go and fast forward a little bit so we can get a little bit closer to this deadline. All right, now that we've actually got some nationalist support, since we're wanting to flip to that, here's a couple ways you can do it. So first way is go under to your decisions tab and you can just click hold extraordinary uh, new extraordinary elections. Now this is where it gets really cool. So before you do that, you want to click this little button right here, expand party view. And this opens up everything. You can choose inside of your political parties, which faction is going to be in charge of that side. So you can see right here, these are the pro Western down here, the emerging outlooks, you know, etc. So let's just say we don't want the right wing populace. We don't want the one that'll demonetize the video if I say it. So let's just go ahead and ban that one. Now let's go ahead and say we want the US military to take over. So we're going to go ahead and start clicking boost the US military. And we're just going to wait until there we go. They're now the leading faction in the government. So what we're going to do is now that we've done that, we're going to hold, well, we can either do a coup or just hold the elections. I'm just going to hold the elections and we're going to go ahead and let the game play out and see who wins. Okay. That's not what I wanted to happen actually. So, oh, okay. I can click this. All right. So now we're going to click this and the U S military has become the ruling party and the joint chiefs of staff are leading the United States. Uh, this is actually a pretty cool trick that I don't think a lot of people know about, but yeah, that's how you basically ban certain political parties uh, from being able to do anything. Um, yeah, I was just going to go ahead and add in uh, this so I can show you here really quick. All right. So yeah, basically the uh, Joint Chiefs Staff is now leading the United States, and the way you ban countries, or not ban, but you... Um, uh, ban political parties is you have to click the check mark, but they have to be at zero for them to be able to be banned. And sometimes you just can't get it that high. Uh, actually, that's weird. I don't know why it's not letting me ban them right now. But uh, yeah, that's how you do it. And you click this little button right here to boost the ideology, and this little one right here to attack the IOD, uh, the political party. So that's some of the ways you can influence your country's politics in Hearts of Iron 4 millennium done hopefully this was able to tell you guys a little thing you didn't know hopefully it was able to help you out and if it did don't forget to subscribe for more hearts of iron 4 content thank you so much for watching i will see y'all next time stay awesome